Well, good morning. I am on my way to my property to do some hunting. Uh, I got juked yesterday by the buck I'm looking for. He showed up in the afternoon and I didn't hunt. Uh, but overnight, deer were moving all on the property. In fact, they're still moving in front of the cameras right now. And I have had uh, two new bucks show up last night. Um, one has, looks like three points on one side and the other one, uh, it's hard to tell because I can't see his brow tines, but he's either a four or six pointer. So where I'm hunting, there are antler restrictions here. Um, and he's got to have three points on one side or more. So we'll see what happens if I get to see him in the daylight and take a better look at him. But for now, uh, the main deer I'm looking for has been there yesterday evening and during the night. There's a couple does running around too. Uh, I've got one cool picture of a bedded down doe and the, the buck walking up to it. So I think they may be chasing the does around there. I'm just gonna sneak in the woods as quiet as possible considering I've got to drive a side-by-side -side in there and um, see if we can't see something when the sun comes up. So. Stay tuned and I appreciate you guys coming along with me on my hunting trip and experience it with me. Let's see if we can make that experience a little bit better. Oh, and by the way, today is my birthday. Nothing better than shooting a buck on your birthday. So let's see what happens.
he is, uh, he's the buck I've been playing cat and mouse with um, for the last week and a half, I guess. Uh, he's not a monster, but for this area, he's a he's a decent buck. He's a looks like a basket eight pointer. Um, he was up a little bit higher, and he walked past one of my trail cameras this morning. And he came from that same direction, right past that camera again. And I saw him up on the hill and he came right down. And he was feeding right below me at 35 yards. I probably could have watched him longer. He wasn't spooked or anything, but something made a noise somewhere. I think it was a tree branch falling or something. And he uh, picked his head up and kind of looked around. I said, ah, you know what, I'm gonna take him now. So I shot and he, oh, he only went, 30 yards maybe and piled up so uh, no tracking job necessary which is great uh, I can't wait to get get him and gut him and get my hands inside him and warm him up because it's freaking cold today it's like 20 28 degrees with a with a 15 mile an hour wind so I'm kind of I'm shivering this isn't amped up because the buck is because it's chilly I dressed a little too light um, so this is my first buck, first deer ever on my very own property. And it's my birthday today, so that makes it even better. So it's, uh, it's awesome. So uh, I gotta go get this deer and take care of him. But uh, all right, it came together the day before gun season opens up up here. Oh, all right. Let me pack up my stuff and get down. All right, so I just got down out of the tree. I want to come over and find my uh, find my broadhead, which I did. It broke off. It didn't. It didn't go all the way through him. It broke off, but uh, there's a lot of blood on it. It may have been a heart shot. Um, I can't tell. There's quite a bit of blood here, though. I saw him, saw the arrow snap off when he ran. I believe, um, I believe when I shot him, the arrow went through and maybe stuck in his shoulder on the other side. It was only a 35 yard shot. I was kind of surprised I didn't get a pass through. But, but, um, doesn't matter. I saw him drop from the stand. He only ran about 30 yards. I may have a picture of him on one of my cameras because I believe he ran right in front of the camera when uh, when I shot him. So we'll find out if I got pictures of him. But well, let's go check him out. Well, here's my deer. He's a pretty little, pretty little eight pointer. Uh, I've been seeing them on camera a few times. I think there may be one that's a little bit bigger than this guy in here, but this is the one that walked by me first. Uh, like I said, this is my first deer on my own property. He's a he's a pretty buck. Uh, you can see where he he smells. Um, he's been he's been rutting quite a bit. He gets he's got all stuff stuck in his horns and everything, but. It's been a nice little cat and mouse game with this buck for the last week and a half. He seems to keep showing up after I leave. <laughs> and then and then when I come here, he's not here. <laughs> so um, we finally put an end to it today. He's a, he's a pretty animal. Um, he was, he looked like he was limping when he was on his way down the hill. I, I didn't get any didn't get any footage of it because he came from directly behind me and I couldn't turn my camera around. Um, but he may have been limping, and I'm interested to see if the if the uh, if he had a broken leg already or if the crossbow did that to him. Uh, I don't I don't know yet. Um, he's got some neat coloration, some white on his on his front and back legs, which is kind of cool. And uh, he's a good, pretty, pretty northeast deer. I'm happy with him, and it's time now to get him taken care of. Um, 
I think I'm gonna do something I wanted to do for a long time, which was make a video of uh, field dressing the deer, so I'll link that in this video. But thanks for coming along, thanks for watching, and like I always say, I wish everybody nothing but tight lines and short blood trails.